What's up, dude? How's it going? I'm good, bro. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, bro. How's your family? Yeah, they all are fine. Yeah, I heard that you were in uh, Hyderabad right now, right? Yeah, dude. Uh, how? I mean, how are things going on? They're all good. All good, bro. Oh, one minute, I'm gonna call from Aditya. Yeah, Aditya. I'm good, bro. How are you? Yeah, everyone's good here. New video. Who's video? You want me to watch it now? Uh, actually, I'm a bit busy. Uh, I'll watch it later. Okay? Yeah, sure. Bye. You? Aditi posted a new video, it seems. And he wants me to watch it now. Yeah! Come on, let's check it out. Oh, come on, dude. Is it really necessary? We have a lot to talk about. A lot to discuss. Come on, dude. Otherwise, you don't have any work to do. Fine then. So basically, social media is a huge platform for people to connect with anyone around the globe and to share almost anything with everyone. Okay, we can accept that social media is a great place to discuss about different topics and also to know about others' ideas and opinions. It's also an amazing place to show off our talents to the whole world. Many artists, musicians and movie stars have come to light with the help of social media. Social media might have its own perks, but its negatives outweigh the positives here. You probably know about the addiction towards drugs, addiction towards smoking and drinking. But do you know what teenagers are addicted to? It's social media. Almost 97% of them use some kind of social media platform like WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. Two thirds of youth in India say that they feel more accepted on social media than they do in real life. They feel important or popular when they receive a lots of likes on their posts. Within the age group of 16 to 24, the time spent on social media on an average is 4.5 hours. Coming to how does this social media affect the mental health? Hmm. So the problem comes with the dirty content like those pages that encourage suicides, cyberbullying, adult content, etc. They might influence the teens in different ways and can even lead them to destroying their own lives. And some other teenagers who use social media for longer hours tend to have obsessive compulsive disorder, which means they show too much obsession towards the number of likes they receive on their posts. Receiving likes on the internet releases dopamine in our brain. This creates a sense of pleasure. They believe that the more likes they get, the more people they are being liked by. This can even lead to depressions and anxieties if they couldn't get a certain number of expected likes. You must have seen that teenagers are fast typers while chatting. They can do it. But ask them to speak before a huge crowd. Can they? No. Because chatting has the ability to degrade our public speaking skills and also to diminish our confidence levels. So in order to prevent yourself from this addiction, you could do the following. Try to communicate with your family, your friends or your siblings more often. Focus on your daily priorities. Turn off push notifications on your mobile. Or if possible, delete your social media apps temporarily until you feel like you're not addicted to them anymore. Meditation can also help. I would like to end this by saying that having a social media account is not a bad thing, not a crime, but overusing it or using it for unnecessary purpose will not really end well. Thank you. How the hell did he get our pics? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, dude. You know I really hate people when they talk about, talk against social media. But about this guy, I can't do anything accepting the fact what he said. Yeah, it's true dude that we are getting addicted to this thing. Bro, why should not you do some challenge like hashtag say no to social media per week. It will definitely help us to overcome this addiction, you know. Hmm. Sounds interesting.
Yeah, sure. The loser pays 100 bucks, okay? 100 bucks? Yes. 